I'm here to charge my uh, Cybertruck and I'm at uh, Electrify America. So this is a CCS charger. How's that gonna work? Well, luckily I've got this CCS adapter here. It's made by A to Z. So let's see how this works. Okay, so let's take the uh, CCS charger and we'll put this adapter on first. All right. Okay, this may take two hands to do, but uh, open my charge port and let's get this adapter plugged in. All right, so we're connecting the vehicle. See, we got the adapter plugged in here. And so far we got 99 kilowatt. It'll probably ramp up a little bit. I'll check back here in a second. All right, I was just sitting here talking with Pete. He's got this uh, F-150 Lightning. As you know, I've got an F-150. Mine's also uh, white as well. And we were just sitting here. I was telling him a little bit about the Cybertruck. And um, looks like 98 kilowatts, the fastest I'm gonna get. It's a 150 kilowatt charger. So I'm fixing to hop off of it so he can get on. And um, we'll talk in a little bit. Some final thoughts on the A to Z. Um, CCS the NAX adapter here it is again it comes in this nice carry case a little handle on it and uh, I was only able to use it for about five minutes uh, there was a line at the uh, let fire America chargers yesterday and so I didn't want to tie up the chargers uh, for people that were waiting so i only spent about five minutes and uh the arrival state of charge was i think if you look at the video it's like 52 percent and so um <clears throat> it, it at that high rate of state of charge um i was only got up to 98 kilowatt that was on a 150 charger and i don't know if the charger had been derated for some reason what was going on uh and i honestly i can't remember i haven't supercharged enough in my cyber truck yet to really um have the curve charge curve memorized so but i, I would think that 98 to 120 somewhere in that range is pretty decent speed uh at 52 percent state of charge but um so 98 kilowatt five minutes and that short a period of time it seemed to work fine um i had tried this once before and didn't have any luck with it but i was trying to insert this into the vehicle first the trick is uh, according to a2z they reached out to me after my first uh post and said to this needs to go on the charge handle first then insert both into the vehicle and so i did that yesterday and uh worked fine so i'm looking forward to being able to use this on more uh, trips. I know places, uh, particularly in the North Georgia mountains, that uh, does not that, that have uh, CCS chargers, but no Tesla NAX or superchargers. So this will come in handy in places like this. I think this is like 175, and and there's a coupon if you go to A to A to Z's website. There's a coupon where you can get it even a little bit cheaper than that right now. So that's a pretty good price. This one is made specifically for the Cybertruck. Uh, it has a deeper um, connection. It goes in further here because the Cybertruck, the way the charge port, um, and there, there's a fender around it that prevents the Tesla adapter from working on the Cybertruck. And if you're wondering, these are I think these are made in China, but A to, A to Z is a very reputable company. They do a lot of testing. If you'll go to uh, the YouTube channel State of Charge, Tom Malogany, he has an interview with A to Z's um, CEO on one of his most recent videos and uh, puts a lot of confidence in the company and, and their ability to make these safe these chargers very safe. If you watch that video and, and uh, listen to the CEO, all the testing and everything they go through. Um, so at any rate, just want to make this little video 
testing the A to Z adapter. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe uh, if you want to see more content like this in the future. See you later.